Hey, what's up guys? This is Justin at wingsound.com. Let's say you have some loops that you've timelessly used and it's getting real old and boring. I'll show you in Pro Tools how to edit certain samples and sounds from those loops to build your own drum kits or own custom sounds. It's really great, adds originality to your music. And don't forget, you know, leave some comments down there or get at me, justin at wingsound.com. All right, so I've inputted a few loops here and I'm gonna chop them up to make my own beat. And when I do this, my workflow is in grid mode and I have a 164th note or 132nd note grid value so I can get some very precise editing work done. I also have the keyboard focus, the AZ button right here enabled so I could use R and T to zoom in and out. And I'm using the smart tool. There's some other key commands that uh, I'll tell you that I use once I start getting into it. So this first one here, this first loop, I want the kick. Okay, so I'm just gonna pick a grid point with my cursor, control B to make a cut. It's another quick key command. It's a little long, so I'm going to shorten it up. And then I'm going to draw a little fade in there so I don't get that those clicks. And then there's a hi-hat in here that I want. And again, control B to make a cut. All right, so this hi-hat, I'm going to drag down to this empty audio track that I have here, stereo. Okay, and then I use Command D to duplicate. A region. And then once I have like a few down, I could just highlight one, then hold down Shift, and then click the last. And as you can see, the whole little area is highlighted. And then just hit Command D, and it does the whole thing. And it's cool when you work in grid mode because you can look and see how many grid points, you know, everything is separated. And you know, you could get some very precise placement of, you know, your regions. All right. <clears throat> so now I'm going to put the kick, arrange the kick better. I'm going to shorten this kick up a bit because I want two kick hits. All right, need some more hi hats in there. All right, so this I want to get this snare, this loop here. Want to get the snare out of there. So you know this can get a little tedious doing these things. You know I understand that, but. You know, if you don't have much to work with, you can utilize this feature. You know, this workflow and stuff. And then what's cool, you know, you could really get in there and really tweak each of these regions and do some, uh, you know, audio suite plugin stuff and reverse it and all that or add some plugins to it. All right. And then I want to get these bells in here. Also, another cool thing is if your um, if your loops aren't exactly in time with everything, you could always do some uh, elastic audio, stretch them out, and you could also change the pitches of them to get them to fit right with you know your whole track. So there you go, and I already, you know, pretty much got a beat going on. And then what you can do is once you have that done, you could highlight everything and then Command D. You can always get in touch with Justin at wingsound.com and check out more of Justin's videos, including these titles featuring the new Pro Tools 8, now available on demand at wingsound.com.